All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about the uh, the longer <laughs> break there. Um, my coffee took a while to prepare, and also a package came for me. I didn't even get really to have any sips of my coffee till just now, so hold on. I need to warm myself up in this snowy place. Also very fitting, I had a package come with some ponchos that I ordered. Some, like, indoor blanket ponchos so that I can wear it while I'm, like, chilling on stream and it won't get in my way because it has, like, sleeves. It has, like, sleeves built into it. So it's great. It's comfy. I'm so comfy and warm and ready to keep going. Let's go ahead and see what other uh, berries are hiding around here. Well, it's chest that's hiding. That's good. Another chest. This chest was actually a mimic! I, I should have suspected. Chester, Chester, you silly fool. Oh. You guys look like you're going through some stuff right now. That kind of makes things awkward. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave you alone. Bye! Oh. Wow. I didn't know we could awkward out the enemies. I should have been using that this whole time. <laughs> Thanks, Chester. And there it goes. It's a cute and very respectful mimic. Oh god, it's ice. It's the sliding puzzles. No, not sliding puzzles. Oh, it's telling us what to do. Okay. Or at least it's telling us where to start. That's nice. Let's see what's over here. Oh, the berries are down there, though. Hold on. Berries! That means we get another moment between Melody and Claire. Hold on. What about you? Huh? You asked about me earlier, but how are you holding up? Oh, terrible. But what else is new? Well, thanks for caring about my well-being, at least. You don't have to patronize me. I know this mess I got us all into blows. You have every right to be mad at me. No, I meant it. Oh, well... Thank you, I guess. Not everyone's against, Duclair. I'm for you. Especially you and your hat. Oh god, we're all dying. Um. Okay, I should kill something before I kiss Beverly. <laughs> How are you doing? How are how is Breath of the Wild going for you? Kill before you kiss. That's my motto. <laughs> Alright, now we kiss. Oh, I should have healed Claire. Shoot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, it's the ferrets. Hell yeah. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Nice. Ow. Doing well, just got off work, and the city is finally clearing my parking lot for the first time this winter. How very fitting. It's also winter in the game right now. But I'm glad they're finally doing that. They, How long have they been holding off on that? That is not fun. 
That's one thing that I, while I do like snow and I kind of wish sometimes that I could see it more, I'm also glad we don't get snow for reasons like that. <laughs> Oh good, a block. There's enough from Zinnia in here. You're doing great. Here's a little something to keep you going. How thoughtful of her. What do you think of Zinnia? Huh? She's great. I guess I've just been a little too stuck in my own head to show that I re really appreciate her help. I can't believe she's still so willing to help us after the bomb we dropped on her. I'd probably be a total wreck in her shoes. Everyone counts with hardship in different ways. I guess Zinnia tries to redirect her energies towards helping people. I think I can already smell the next dragonberry bush nearby. Really? From this distance? It's a pretty strong smell. You can't smell anything? Nope. Huh. Guess that's the perk of being a fox. You're just full of surprises, huh, Melody? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Yoink. A frost rod? That sounds cool. Oh, okay, that's kind of a downgrade, actually. <laughs> okay. There's still more to find, though, so let's go back. Nailed it. <laughs> as much as I love leveling up, it's painful when there's only two of us and um, we're both not... Or I'm kind of tanky, but Claire's not. Seven months? Jeez. I should try to enjoy this little trip while I can, I guess. I've always liked the snow, you know? There's something calming about it. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's nice. Allison and I used to have a lot of fun every winter when we were little. We go sledding a lot. And she throws snowballs at our bullies. Maybe weather like this just evokes those memories for me. Maybe. I'm kind of having fun on the ice, personally. Wish we brought skates. You can skate? I skated a lot as a kid. It's a good place to skate in Brightport in the winter, and it gave me a reason to get out of the house. I was always too scared and clumsy to learn how to skate back then. Well, you don't st seem scared of ice now. I guess not, huh? Well, one more batch of berries should be enough. Let's look for that and then head back. Yeah, I've had to park like three blocks down at my friends. Ugh, that's annoying, especially if you have to walk back and forth every time in the snow. Oh, that's the last bush. Here, I'll, I'll go grab that. Oh, sure. Oh god, is Harmony gonna show up? Oh crap! Claire? Claire, are you good? What happened? Are you okay? There was a root or something buried under the snow and I tripped. I think I twisted my ankle really bad. It might be sprained. God, what a stupid accident. We make it through all these battles with monsters and this is what gets me? Figures. Oh, walking in the snow is the easy part. It's the negative 40 temperature. That yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Not necessarily snow as much as the fact that there is snow, which means it's cold. <laughs> Especially if you'd walk back in like the evening or early morning, which I assume you would if you have work and stuff. It's okay, I should be able to heal this. You sure? It'll take a little while since it wasn't just a surface level injury, but yeah, this is the kind of thing I studied for. Okay. Thanks, Melody. I only get rain. I've gotten too much rain recently. 
and no no snow or hail to show for it. I'll go, I don't want I don't really want hail per se, but hail is something that we've actually gotten here where I live. Snow, not so much. God, your mood was actually starting to improve, and I had to go and ruin it like always. Don't worry about it. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I was in a polycule with everyone in this game. We could go on cute adventures and cute dresses, and then I can make lots of food for everyone. Snacko, I think you'd be the perfect addition for this party. What, I think, what class could you be? We got a paladin, uh, a wizard, um, Jody is also a paladin. And Allison is a fighter. Snacko is the chef. <laughs> Rogue, I guess? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of Metopia for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, Metopia, there was a chef and there was also a magical girl. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all this. For what? Everything. You and Allison and Jody and Faith are all risking your lives to help fix my mistakes and I'm hardly even grateful. I rushed you and Allison into this guild crap because I thought it would be a good experience. And look where we are now. This guild even managed to drive a wedge between you and Allison. If we even make it out of this, then I don't blame you if you want to quit. It can be hard for me to talk to you sometimes, just because... I mean, it can be hard for me to talk to most people. You can be intense, and sometimes you leap before you look. But you've also done so much for me. You gave me my magic. And I don't think you even bothered if you didn't care. You really are one of my best friends, Claire. God, you're so nice, like, all the time. I summoned some sort of glitch apocalypse and you're still not mad at me. This would be easier if you were all mad at me, you know. Just get it over with. You all still had this misguided trust in me when I deserved to get chewed out. I don't know how I tricked you into believing in me. It's just gonna make it sting harder when I fail. Do you... Want me to be mad at you? No, no. Forget it. I mean, I don't know if I'm as nice as you think I am deep down. And I'm not pleased about the situation we're in. But that doesn't mean we aren't friends. Have I ever told you how much about my life back home? A little, but not much. Why? I didn't really have many friends growing up in Brightport. And my family always treated me like garbage. Jody was all I had. But then Jody graduated and moved away, and finishing high school as a closeted trans girl with no friends was, uh, terrible. Then I didn't have the grades or money to go to a good sorcerer's college. After high school, I was just suffocated. I had to do something fast to keep my life from going completely off the rails. Sometimes I feel like my life's just barely begun. Like everything else... Everyone else got an 18-year head start, and it's already too late for me to catch up. As soon as I could, I got away from my family and moved in with Jody. She was the only person who made me feel safe. I figured I'd just room with her, get a crappy job in Green Ridge to help pay the bills, and start studying magic on my own. I didn't know if any part of that plan would work out. But you and Allison and Beverly and everyone else have done nothing but try to make me feel welcome here, even when I've been a careless jerk. Which is often, let's be real. Even Faith. She cuts me so much slack. I thought I had the perfect opportunity to make something of myself here, and I didn't want to waste it. That's why I rushed everyone into this whole guild thing. And why I pushed myself so hard with magic. It just really bit me in the ass this time. Plus, I know we don't talk that much, but... You're the only other trans girl I've ever really been friends with in real life. You've always been really supportive, and I don't know if I've made it clear how much that means to me. We gotta look out for each other. If we don't, then who will? Hey. Sorry it took the apocalypse for me to say I care about you, Melody. Like, Lias. If we make it through this, we should hang out more. You know, under less dire circumstances. 
Also, your leg probably finished healing about a minute ago now. Oh! Yeah, it does feel better. Thank you. You know, this might sound absurd, but I think this little outing has given me an idea. What kind of idea? Come on, I'll tell you on the way back to Zinnia's place. That was so heartfelt. I'm crying. I'm te I'm you can't see it, but I am I am a little teary right now. I'm a little teary right now. Oh, I just realized I'm Jody and Allison now. Allison, we get both perspectives. Oh my god, more heartfelt stuff. All right, well, I gotta kiss Faith now. <laughs> gotta do the kissies on both sides. Oh, we're here, dummy. Jody is such a good tank. Look at her HP. I also realized that now uh, they have to keep themselves healed up on this side. Great! <laughs> Cody's MP is already like half down. Okay, I think we should avoid monsters. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got to say on this side. Hey, you think we should taste test these to make sure they're ripe? They look ripe to me. Oh, so you're an expert on magical fruits now, huh? I mean, I definitely know more about food than you. We both know I'm a better cook. Okay, I just want to see what they taste like. I've never had dragonberries before. They're rare. We literally just had dragonberry tea with Zinnia. Yeah, but the raw berries are a whole different experience. It's all about the mouthfeel. Fine. Just one can't hurt, I guess. Munch, munch, munch. It tastes like the tea we just had. You don't say. <laughs> yeah, actually, knowing Allison, it'll probably take her a while to work up to saying anything about what's going on. Oh, great, we have to fight something to get to the berries. Fantastic. Let's do Barry and Allison just so I don't have to heal her too much. Wow, I said that and she gets instantly attacked. <laughs> Stop attacking her. Well, it's a good thing I have all this food. No, my gold! <laughs> This would be hurting a lot if I didn't have barrier. There we 
There we go. Counter is great. Thank you for the counters. Okay, shield's gone, so I just gotta kill it. Look at Jody. She's like got no damage on her. <laughs> Jeez, you think Sinia has to go through this all every time she wants some dragon berries? I mean, she probably flies over all this, right? She has wings. Oh, yeah. Probably. I wanted to ask if she can really fly, but I figured that might be rude. Yep, we're really gonna have to work our way up to that, huh? Okay, yeah, this game is like, I sense that you're not gonna try to fight, so I'm gonna make you. Oh my god, look at the wintry witch! She's so cute! I love her. I love her instantly. No, she's frozen! Uh, I have something to thaw, right? Shoot, I, I don't have anything to thaw frozen status. Red. Alright, it's all me. Ah! Jody, please unfreeze. Oh, she's frozen again. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm gonna really need to restore her MP. That's okay though, that's why I have items. Look at all these items I have not been using. Three thousand gold! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm rich! Oh, this is where I came from. Perfect. Let's go this way. What is... what? Oh. This gets more complicated. Damn it, that's not what I needed. What do I do I need to do that? Not that one. I need the other one, I think. Damn it. Nope, wrong. I need to be able to hit... That one somehow like this. And then like this. I 
and then like that. Perfect. Man, those monster attacks sure do sting when Melody's not around to heal them. You're telling me. Hey, speaking of Melody, did something happen between you two? Don't worry about it. Easier said than done. You two went from hopeless puppy love to not even speaking to each other overnight. Yeah, okay. We had a fight. Barely even a fight. We raised our voices. I said some stupid crap in a moment of weakness and it made Melody feel bad. When I realized what I'd done, it was too late. What kind of stupid crap? Like how I was thinking about quitting and how I didn't think we should be the ones to face Verena. I mean, we can't face Verena. I know, I know, that's not the point. I was just worried that I pushed her too hard. Joining the guild, getting magic, quitting my job. I've been stupid. I hate seeing her like this. She's had multiple breakdowns this week and I feel like I pushed her there by roping her into all this. The way she talks about herself sometimes, wanting to make herself useful, not wanting to seem weak, that kind of thing. I don't want her to think she has to go this far in order for me to love her. I already loved her. We all did. Whenever I try to let her know that we can ease up, it just makes things worse. And now she won't even talk to me. I think she hates me. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Yeah, well, if she does, I probably deserve it. Well, it probably won't help if we keep them waiting. Let's get the rest of those berries. I don't hate you! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I didn't think about how all the stuff I was saying about being brave was making Allison feel I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, a key. And armor. I already had that. <laughs> Maybe I should put... What, did you, what do you have right now? Okay, nothing that you can wear. <laughs> You sure you're not cold? A real knight has to be ready to deal with extreme conditions like this. Oh, please. Oh, okay, she's a knight, not a paladin. <laughs> Who do you think you are, province? You're gonna freeze your butt off. Fate's not gonna be happy if we bring her back an assless Jody. Yeah, well, she's already not happy. Huh? I thought you and Faith were still okay. Forget it. I don't need your ribbing right now. No, come on. You know I can't... I can turn off the sass. What's up? I'll be fine. My problems are mine to deal with. Jody! <laughs> Jody, seriously! Right now I need to be a rock for the team. No, Jody! Oh god, even Jody. I thought she was I thought she was our rock, but it's I I put too much pressure on her to be the rock. She's also dealing with problems and I didn't see them. I'm so blind. <laughs> Whatever floods your boat, I guess. Allison, you gotta push her. <laughs> this game honestly is so freaking good. I know, it's so good. <laughs> this game is so freaking real. There has to be a way to get to that other place. Oh, the key, that's right. What does this do? What, uh, heh? What, uh, 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 what just happened? I don't know where to, where to go. I think I need to, like, hit the...
What did I do here? Oh, well, I can just go here, actually. I thought I had to hit that button for- I probably do need to hit that for something, but I'm not sure what. Hey, look, a bending machine. Well, I have plenty of stuff in my inventory, but I'm gonna buy more carrots because, um, I died. I almost died without carrots. Um, whoops, wrong way. Okay. Oops, that was a mistake. I messed up. I need to- I just need to reset the puzzle really quick. So that should be reset. So I got this. And then this. And then up, and then this way. And then, doop. Then chest. With another key. And berries! Allison, what does being a part of this guild mean to you? Huh? Like for me, I became a knight because I wanted to protect people. To keep the people I have loved from being hurt. I thought that joining the pal Paladin Brigade would have caused problems since Faith would have been my boss. Instead, I started this guild with Claire. But obviously it wasn't that simple. Maybe hearing your thoughts on all this will help put things in perspective for me. What motivates you? I don't know, uh... Huh. I wanted to do something with Melody. Well, that doesn't seem right, because we could have done a lot of things together. That wasn't this, so I don't think that's right. I wanted to be like my mom. That seems more likely. She went on adventures with her mom all the time, and her mom's really cool. It seems like she's trying to be up to her mom's standards. It just sounded fun. I don't think she would be this, hmm, flippant about it if it was just for the fun. On the other hand, she seems ready to give it up too, though. And then I got nothing. <laughs> I don't want to mess things up by making the wrong decision here. I feel like if I say I want to be like my mom, that there's going to be this whole line of mommy issues that'll come up. And I feel like it's more than that. Uh... Oh, guys, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, um... I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it. It's fine. I guess I wanted to follow my mom's footsteps. I always have. She's been my role model ever since I was a little kid. I grew up wanting to be a hero like her. But that's easier said than done. I'm no hero. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. It's okay. I mean, I'm also kind of in it for the money. I didn't want to be stuck in poverty with a dead-end, minimum-wage, woodcutting job my whole life. I want more than that. Turns out adventuring is expensive, though. We have to spend so much of what we make on equipment just to keep up. You're telling me. But that's not a satisfying answer to your question. That's not a cool creed to live by. I just have bills to pay. It's a grounded answer, though. Eh. Either way, if we somehow make it to next week, then I guess I got a lot to figure out about myself. And now we go back. Key now, though. Ah! Flameling? 
Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that fire will not help me here. Ow. What is the point of me taunting if you're gonna hit me anyway? Water. Oh, I guess they target next turn. That would make sense. I know what my mistake is. I haven't been kissing Faith. There we go. There's no arrow to tell me where to go. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> that was all unnecessary. There we go. That should be enough. G -g great Let's head back. Jody, you were cold this whole time, weren't you? <laughs> was that a shiver just now? Okay, fine. Maybe I'm cold. Come on, let's make a fire to warm me up before we make the trek back to Zinnia's. Hey, Jody. From your point of view, why did you and I break up? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is the biggest plot twist that I've had all all of this game. I didn't know they dated. Whoa, where is this coming from all of a sudden? I've just been thinking about a lot today. We broke up. And, like, no hard feelings there, obviously. But now Melody's mad at me, too. I'm just wondering, like, is history repeating itself? Am I making the same mistakes all over again? Am I just an idiot who's miserable to date? Well, we were teens being teens. We thought we knew everything even though we were barely out of high school and we were scared of being alone forever. I figured that, hey... We get along great as internet friends. We're both lesbians. We seem compatible. If we're in the same town, why not give it a shot? Ugh. Ugh. This is hitting me in the doki doki. <laughs> and then, after a couple months of ups and downs, we realized that we knew how to push each other's buttons in all the wrong ways. We weren't giving each other what we needed in a relationship. And we went back to being friends. I don't know. I don't hold anything against you, it just wasn't right for us. But I wouldn't say what happened between us is comparable to you and Melody. How do you figure? Well, when we started dating, we didn't really know each other all that well. But you and Melody know each other better than anyone. And you were both totally in love for years before you even realized it. Tell me, what does Melody mean to you? She means the world to me. She's always been there for me and I try my hardest to be there for her. And around her, I feel... safe. Like, I don't have to impress her. I can just be me, and she understands me. I hope the feeling is mutual. What you two have is really special. That isn't going to disappear just because of an argument or two. I mean, look at me in faith. We still have our disagreements. Really? I've never seen you two fight. Oh, totally. We love each other, of course, but our lives aren't always completely compatible. I didn't become a knight for Faith, but I kind of figured I would be working with her more. 
It didn't work out like that. She's got her responsibilities, I've got mine. We can't always find time for each other. Sometimes that really stings. And sometimes fate has a lot on her plate and I want to be there to help, but that's just not what she needs. So we've learned to compromise and to be clear about our needs. To know when we need to be there for each other and when we need our space. Of course, I don't think my actions this week are really helping things. Oh, come on. You've done nothing but save our butts left and right. Yeah, and I also led everyone into a trap because I ran off to play hero in a desert. Which left Greenridge wide open. And really, everything that happened is kind of my fault. I was supposed to keep Claire from getting into trouble, and I've clearly failed to do that. There's no shortage of stupid things I've done lately that have just caused my girlfriend needless stress. I know she's frustrated, even if she's good at hiding it. I thought I could be there for Faith and help Claire get the guild going and support you and Melody and make everyone happy all at once. It turns out that's not as easy as I thought it would be. I feel like I've gotten a little off track here. It's fine. It's not like Melody and I are the only ones having a rough week. The point is, relationships take work. That's just normal. I'll have to find some way to make it up to Faith and do better in the future. Because we love each other. It's the same with you two. This week has been a lot for all of us. I know it's hard, but if Melody wants some space right now, then maybe that's just what she needs. You've got to give her some time and be there for her when she's ready. Thank you, Jody. That helps a lot. Come on, let's head back to- Oh, what now? It sounded like that came from our north. Let's investigate. I'm worried! Man, I'm shook. I didn't- I had no idea that they dated before. Oh god, it's Paula! There you are! Paula, what is wrong with you? Well, what's going on with your eyes? Yeah, what is going on here? Are you okay? I'm better than okay. Get ready for round two. Come on, enough of this. We already beat you once. Keep telling yourselves that. My job was just to buy time for Verena summoning, and I did exactly that. The only reason Verena lets you go is because she wants to test you. And now I'm here for your pop quiz. Seriously, what is your problem, Paula? Why the hell are you so obsessed with me all of a sudden? You wanna know why? You really wanna know? What, it's because I'm, she's dating me? <laughs> It's because you're a cheater. Oh, does she know about the magic? I know the truth about you and Amaranth. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot Melody also got her magic in the same way. <laughs> you two cheated your way into becoming adventurers by stealing Verena's magic. Oh god, I was so scared. I'm like, did Allison cheat on, on me? <laughs> She would never! <laughs> I've known this whole time. Paula? People like you sicken me. You're no heroes. You're scum. You just think you can use magic to get whatever you want. Well, guess what? Two can play at that game. I proved my worth in the assault on Green Ridge, and now Verena's granted me more power. And unlike you, I was chosen directly by the goddess of magic herself to inherit this power. Paula, do you have any idea how dangerous that is? Dangerous for you, maybe. No, seriously, cut the crap. You need to get medical help right now or else you might... You can't run from this, Galetta. If you can't face me like this, then you don't stand a chance against Verena. Now give me everything you got. Oh dear. Well? I'm gonna bury your Allison because she's probably gonna attack Allison a lot.
Okay. Um. Just gonna set up everything I need. So I need some healing. Look at how boosted I'm making Allison. Just give her all the stuff. Um. Let's lower her defense. There we go. Oh god, this is friggin' axe attack. <sighs> is that all? You've- oh, oh my god. We didn't even get our HP down, is she okay? Uh... Paula? I knew that much magic would be too much for her to handle. Come on, we can't just leave her to freeze to death. Let's drag her back to Zinnia's. Would I like to save? Of course I would. Paula? Whoa, what happened here? Is she... She's suffering from mana poisoning. It's a common side effect of being infused with too much mana too quickly. A minor case couldn't be much worse than a hangover, but Paula's so overloaded she's lucky to be alive. She's a total pain in the ass, but Paula doesn't need to die over all this. Can't we do anything? Zinnia, would draining some of her mana work? I know a spell for that. Yes, that would do a trick. Come here, I glide, I'll guide you through it. Ugh. Where am I? Don't try any funny business. Oh, great. I'm in hell. You're welcome for saving your life just now. Wait, something's missing. Where's my magic? What do you do to me? You're recovering from a life-threatening cause of mana poisoning. Your lucky Melody was here to help me drain your excess mana. Ugh, gross. Don't assume that I owe you or anything. I'd rather kick the bucket than get help from a magic thief from, like you. Magic thief? Yeah, that's right. I know your little secret about how you got your powers. I've known this whole time. Overheard you two blabbing about it on the hiking trail a few days ago. And boy, did it piss me off. Jab back at Paula or say nothing. You know what? I gotta jab back at her. Melody is fed up with this. Oh, did I not? Shoot, I, p I picked the wrong button. Damn it, I wanted to jab back at her. Odd rewind. <laughs> Paula, why are you like this? Why do you care so much about how Melody and Allison got their magic? How does that affect you? And don't just say you wouldn't understand. I've always hated magic users like you. You're everything that's wrong with the world. Growing up, I was told I had a gift. I was strong. I was smart. I could achieve anything I set my mind to. I was destined for greatness. But natural talent doesn't mean squat when the world's full of weaklings and lowlifes using magic to get whatever they want. You get all the glory, while honest, hardworking folk like me are stuck with dead-end jobs. We get the scraps. When I heard Galetta was cheating her way out of that life when I was stuck in the bottom rung of society, I had every right to be furious. You know, Paula, I actually considered inviting you to our guild. You're a good fighter. We could use someone with your skills. As if I'd accept a handout from losers like you. But see, there's the problem. Your personality. You sure seem fine with taking handouts when it's from Javis and Verena. That's different. Javis told me Verena wanted to take her magic back and that with my strength I could help make that happen. They recognized me for my natural talent and rewarded me for it. I don't like having to use magic for this job, but it's for the greater good. The natural order will be set right when magic's gone. You know what? 
I actually kind of understand where you're coming from, Paula. Don't patronize me. No, I mean it. I think I finally get you. I know what it's like to feel like you're going nowhere in life. To be stuck working yourself to death in a dead-end job for a boss who doesn't respect you and refuses to pay you more than he's legally obligated to. To feel like that there's so much out there in the world and that you'll never get to experience any of it because your fate was decided at first. It sucks. Nobody deserves that. That's why I'm doing my damnness to get myself out of that life any way I can with the support of friends. But you don't actually care about that struggle. You don't think that nobody should be treated like that. You just think the world owes you in particular. You want to live in some fairy tale meritocracy land where you're handed the world on a silver platter for your talent, while riffraff like me stay at the bottom. Well, guess what? That ain't happening. I don't care if you think my magic makes me a cheater. Life doesn't need to be a competition. I'm not weak for relying on others. I'm not going to stop fighting for a better life for myself and for Melody and for all of us. If you have a problem with that, that's on you, Paula. Wow. You rehearsed that one ahead of time, Galetta? Very moving. Still hate you, but you know, A for effort. Welp, it's been fun, but I have better places to be. We should have checked her pockets before we woke her up. Nah, let her run. I'm not afraid of her. That was pretty impressive little speech you gave back there. Uh, thanks. Paula just really got under my skin. Did you mean all that? I did. I meant every word. I don't care what they think of me. I'm not just going to sit around and let those jerks hurt the people I care about. Especially not you. Hey, wait. Does this mean we're talking again? I'm still frustrated. Not specifically with you, with everything, including myself. You have every right to be frustrated at me, though. I'm sorry for saying what I did back on the beach. No, I'm sorry for freaking out at you for being honest about your concerns. That wasn't right of me. This week has just been a lot. I don't know. I don't think I can really articulate my feelings very well at a time like this. But I do think I'm seeing things a little clearer now, after talking to Claire and hearing what you had to say just now. And giving my girlfriend a cold shoulder probably isn't doing any good right now. Let's just work out the rest later, okay? Okay. If you still need some emotional space, I understand. But when you feel like talking about it, I'm all ears. Thank you, Allison. I mean, literally, because I'm a- <laughs> Oh, come here, you big dummy. Aw, tail wag. Aw. I love you, Allison. I love you too, Melody. Now, we got a mission to focus on. I'm right there with you, Mel, but we still don't have a game plan. Yeah, about that. Claire and I actually have an idea we'd like to propose. Elsewhere. You find yourself falling. Through what, you aren't sure. Hey, welcome to the stream, Panda! Stardust. It's usually Stardust. What is it with the multiverse and Stardust anyway? Why is there so much of it? You've never thought you'd be so sick of seeing the wonders of space in person. For a moment, you miss home. But you know that there's no use looking back. You have to keep pushing forward. You get your bearings and you steady your body. Wherever you brought yourself, this one seems to be another dud. With a few hand gestures, you're suddenly somewhere else. Anywhere else. You zip to a few other planes, finding no signs of life. At this point, you'd be happy to see any solid ground at all. Anything with stardust and darkness. You'd even take an asteroid. You begin to fantasize for a moment about terraforming an asteroid and making yourself a cute little home on it. You'd be lonely, but anything would be better than this. Right as you're about to lose your last shred of hope, you zip to a new location and see the sun for the first time in what feels like ages. You're on an island. The sounds of the sea and the cool breeze on your face remind you of simpler times and soothe your nerves. You collapse with a contented sigh and relax for a moment, 
sprawled out on the grass. You instinctively breathe in the fresh air, even though your body no longer needs to breathe. Much of the island appears to be covered in frost or forest, with several mauve mountains towering in the distance. The sky and the sea are deep blue, the fluffy clouds a bright white. Higher in the sky, you faintly see the planet you're on has two moons, one larger than the other. Yes, this one will do. Not wanting to be an intruder, you wonder if there's any locals you can introduce yourself to. Perhaps I want to tell you more about this unfamiliar world. After blinking around the island for a bit, you eventually come upon a large scaly creature, the likes of which you've never seen before. The creature is startled by your sudden appearance and drops an armful of firewood to the ground. Oh, I'm so sorry, you say. I didn't mean to scare you. It occurs to you from him that you should probably be the one who's more startled in the situation. In an effort to be nice, you point this you don't point this out. I'm a bit lost in wanting to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Sure, I suppose, the creature replies timidly. For starters, can you tell me what planet I'm on? You're kidding, right? You maintain a straight face. Well, you really aren't kidding. What's your story? Are you an alien or something? Something like that. Well, I've never met an alien before. Well, uh, we call this planet Reverie. You ponder this for a moment. Hmm, Reverie, huh? That's a new one. It has a nice ring to it, though. What's your name? What's your name? The scaly creature asks. My name's Zinnia. Nice to meet you, Zinnia. I'm... Verena. Hey, Verena. You in there, lady? Hey, there you are. Sorry, I must have dozed off. I never figured a goddess would need so much sleep. Well, my body was specifically modified to handle more magic than you can fathom. It can be tiring. Plus, when you're 1,034 years old, you start to realize how few things are worth being awoke, awakened for. What happened to you? I'd rather not talk about it. Don't make this difficult, Paula. Goletta kicked my ass, okay? And then her girlfriend took away the magic you gave me. Goletta. Allison Goletta. The rabbit? Ah, uh, yes. She's that strong, huh? I suppose this is going to be interesting, after all. It was just a fluke. I rely too heavily on your magic and burn myself out. There's no way Galetta's stronger than me. Confused, though. You lost to the enemy and that now you're here. They didn't capture you, hold you prisoner, torture you for information, anything like that? Nah, they're too chicken. They actually healed me and let me get away. Can you believe that? How strange. Look, I know this wasn't part of the plan, but if you give me another shot, I know I can beat her. That won't be necessary. Besides, I've already powered you up once against my better judgment, and it looks like your body disliked that. Which I'm guessing is why they drained your mana, correct? Doing it again so soon could kill you. This won't, like, affect my standing in the new world or whatever, will it? <laughs> oh my god, relax. It's fine. You've done your part, now just go get some rest before the big show. I'm sure you won't want to miss a thing. That was weird that I could make a choice for Farina. I wonder if I could make her more evil if I chose the other one. <laughs> now, where's Javis? Still building the actual palace. I think I'll go check on him. Oh, I'm playing her now. Okay, well, before we get to seeing what Verena is up to, the goddess of magic, uh, we're going to take another break, guys. So take a second to stretch, get a drink. Uh, remember that you are on the physical plane. And we will be right back for more of this game. Take care, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs> 